all right what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing something a little bit different all right just like you've seen in the thumbnail yes that is right we're going to be building a portable boat launch it's not technically a boat launch where you can just launch practically anywhere but almost and it's a real budget cheap way to uh get into the water this is for john boats and kayaks only today we're going to be building something that's going to easily get your boat in the water when there's a rocky area um, you know if it's muddy or just not a boat launch at all you know we're combat launching which means we're launching places that are not actual boat ramps just launching outside the road off into a ditch into a canal this right here what i'm about to show y'all is going to help y'all get into that water without scratches on your boat or kayak or just a pain in the ass at all so without further ado let's get into it all right you guys excuse the messy garage there's my boat this is what you're going to need for the build two pvc pipes two pieces of i think these is two by four i'm not sure and you will need some nails preferably long enough to go through here and penetrate through here as well so first thing i want to do is measure all right measuring is really important so i'm not going to need the whole length of pvc i want it to stop literally right at the bed of my truck where the tailgate flips over right here all right so i'm gonna cut these two pieces this piece and that piece off because we're going to be using two of these right here that my boat's going to sit on and slide on right there so let me cut these real quick all right i don't need this but i'll keep it anyway for something all right now we got our pvc down to size if you look right here you have this this and this all right so I had to figure out where exactly did I want to place the PVC pipes. Um, I thought about putting them really close together and slide them in here, but I really don't want it to be too skinny, all right? I don't want it to be too narrow. So I was actually thinking about putting them on the side, all right? So you got one PVC right here, you got one PVC right here, all right? So what's gonna happen is you would think it'll just slide right off, but if you think about it, if it goes to the right, it's gonna lock on to this right here, or vice versa, it's gonna lock on this right here that way it's not going to slide of course on the actual pvc let's see we're going to just measure the gap between here and here we're looking at about damn it we're looking at about 19 inches okay so we're going to put a 19 inch gap between those pvcs that way the boat will go flush on it so let's try that all right so the easiest way to do this is do it upside down all right it's gonna be flip over that way the boat can go straight on but it's easier to just drill down to the pvc through the wood just like this uh so here we're gonna do the measurements so right there seems to be actually i'm gonna scoot it just a little bit more just in case we might be a little too close so about right there all right let's see 19 and a half is fine. I'm going through this quick, you guys, because uh, I'm running out of daylight. I wanna get this done so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing, but y'all kinda get the gist of it. Once I finish all this and do the other side, then tomorrow we're actually gonna put it to the test and see if this actually works, all right? So. All right, you guys, it is now the next day. Unfortunately, I bought the wrong screws. They were too short, so I had to go back to the store. I had to get some more. I ended up getting these right here. They were super long, so those end up doing the trick for me. So, as you can see, we finished the project, which was not a big project, but simple project. Uh, so now all we got to do is put the boat on here, see if everything lines up, and then head out. All right, don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the boat is getting ready to get on top of the truck, and you can see that PVC pipe right there is on the edge of that little. Uh, right here and then the other pvc pipe is on the other side of it that way the boat won't move all right you guys finally made it to the spot and look at this right here where i'm standing is where the water should be that's where the water is at <laughs> so you can tell from this piling right here how the water normally gets me actually trying to launch right here on a regular day is fairly easy but today is going to be hard if 
I didn't have that DIY portable boat launch thing that I built. So we're gonna put it to use, see if we can get in the water with this very, very, very low tide, and see if we can have a good fishing day. So I'll show you guys how this works. All right, what you wanna do now, you wanna tie a rope to it. That way, if it's so far down, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be hard to pick it up without getting all muddy. So just tie a simple knot. It's nice and snug and it's probably gonna move around, which is okay. As long as you can take it and pull, okay? So I'm gonna drop it down right there. All right, that's what it looked like, you guys. Usually that'll be hell to try to get through without this and it'll go straight in the mud. <laughs> you can't really launch, but now that I got the PVC pipe, I'm gonna just go ahead and see if I can slide the boat straight in. Okay. here just sliding it in you guys see that just don't let go of the rope slide there we go awesome and there you go guys we in awesome that worked perfectly exactly how i wanted to all right you guys let's go ahead and get started all right we're gonna go with a 1 8 ounce jig head. I'm just gonna put some fast casting baits on here, a little crappie jig. And uh, right now we're in a fairly deep canal. I won't probably stay here long because boats like to fly through here. There's literally no water in here. Oh, uh, you guys can see this. Golly, look at this. There's nothing in here. I mean, nothing shallow maybe i might get lucky finding some reds up in here but you guys i'm telling you that water is like as high as the marsh right there sometimes it's literally no water in here that's okay all that means is we got to find the deep spots in here all right you guys this look like a bass type of day since that oh snap what the hell oh about the brake patrol mode tide is not even really moving anymore i guess that's a good thing because that means oh uh, I don't know, I thought that was a fish. I guess that's a good thing. Oh, there's one. There's one. Not a big bass, but a bass. Small bass. Too small to keep, buddy. And I got the shrimp bag. Nice little bass. Probably one of the ones that ran off from right there. There's one. There's one. It's a better bass. Look at that, look at that. It's crazy, y'all look totally different than what y'all would be in the summertime. They're more visible, more clean, not as green. You see that stripe going to the side of their body? Cool, all I need is some size to y'all, huh? There's one. Oh, he got away. That was a good one. All right, you guys. Normally, this is about a foot above the ground right here, so I can even uh, ride along right there, but that's how low the water is. Look how low the water they got, all right? You wouldn't even see this on a regular tide day. That's not happening. I don't trust it. There's a fish. There's a fish. I don't know what it is, is it? Looks like a red. Oh no, that's a, oh, that's a bad. Look how big he is. Oh my God. Holy. Look at that, you guys, finally. Oh man, I thought that was a red or a sheep's head. Oh yes, indeed. That right there is a fish, you guys. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention and I just, something was just pulling my line. That is a fish, you guys, look at that. Cold water, Louisiana marsh bass. There's no way. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. I can't tell what it is, is it? I think it's a red. Yeah, yeah, it's a red. Okay, you guys, I think I found them. Ooh, ooh, don't go around that corner. Please don't go around that corner. Hey, as soon as I dropped it in there, you guys, he bit it. Okay, I'm 
my god, I can't believe how calm it is out here. Oh, he got off just like that. Damn. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Good red. Oh my god. Dude, what is with me in reds? Like, can I love these guys? small one that's why it's holding on still a keeper though oh yeah still a keeper oh it's not as small as i thought it was and it's sitting right in the corner of his mouth he can come off any moment i don't know how good he's hooked Yes! Woo! Oh, that's a good one. Look at that, you guys. Oh. Perfect fish. Look at that. And it's low tide. And it's a beautiful fish. I love sunny days. It really just brings out those fish. I'm trying to see if I can find some more deep water here, you guys. Look like it's just getting shallower as I go further down all right i want to show y'all what these northwest winds do to certain parts of the marsh now there's somewhere here in the marsh in hopedale shell beach area where the water is like chocolate milk then there's some places where it looks just like this i mean i can see the bottom easily don't see any redfish i saw two of them but i missed them they see me way before i see them unfortunately places like this are just amazing like Back in the deep stuff. That way it's not gonna get off course. Pull it straight up from here. Ah. Just like that. Ah. Alright. Okay, that wasn't good. I don't know what the heck happened with that. Did I break anything? No, it just came off of it. That's okay. <laughs> 